on my way back from Baldwin Wallace to the hotel, yeah, I think it's that one. Um, I got a bloody nose and my hands were just covered in blood and it was such a great time, right? Okay, I really wish I could cry blood. <laughs> it's a dream of mine and I was talking to Callie about it and we were like trying to figure out the least harmful way to make it so I cry blood. And well, I you think it's the eye drops. Yeah, no, I want to cry my blood. And so, <laughs> I understand that you're trying to help, but I want to produce my own blood from my tear ducts. I want it to pour down my face. Okay. So, can, can, this is important. Okay. I made my mom buy me ice cream after I got my shots last night because I'm six years old. Do you want to come to my house and have some ice cream? My mom made caramel. Yeah, I'm super busy. Sorry, but... <laughs> Like show up, I'll feed you ice cream. Okay, yeah, but I I need to be home so I can do work. Yeah. Also, I have a rehearsal and a voice lesson today. I didn't have to work yesterday, and then I made my family go into Lampman's without me to get the ice cream, because you can't you can't go into the store where you work while somebody else is in there covering your shift. That's you can't yeah. do it. Nope. I had a real reason, but it's still gonna look bad. Yeah. What was your reason? I had a doctor's appointment. Oh, right. Yeah. The one that, you know, uh -huh. I got the first uh -huh. shot, and that's yep. why I had the ice mm -hmm. cream. I know. I'm just not here right now. <laughs> My mom won't stop saying I have necrolepsy, where I spontaneously die. <laughs> Did you know that there's, I don't know what it's called. I guess it's spontaneous infant death syndrome or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know all about that. Okay. <laughs> There was some video I saw, I don't remember, maybe you've also seen it, but the, the, the guy ends the video with like, oh yeah, also, just so you know, there's this syndrome, and he's like, sleep well, parents, <laughs> unrelated to the rest of the video. Oh my She's God. just mean. <laughs> yeah, I learned about it when I did babysitter training when I was like 11, and I was like, okay, cool, I never want to touch one, ever, because it will die. <laughs> yeah, th and they can just die for no reason, <laughs> just... It's dead. <laughs> it's now just a tiny floppy little sack of bones and parents who are mad at you. Yep. A little <laughs> tiny corpse. Oh, it's cute. Tiny <laughs> coffins, though. That <gasps> I'm here for. Love Wait, let's look at baby coffins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, why are they all white? I want a black baby coffin. There's a little one. <gasps> it's got little teddy bears oh on it. God, oh, oh, my God, look like at that, that one. That one's colorful. <laughs> Oh my god, matching set. Oh, the whole family. <laughs> I would love for my whole family to buy it in a matching set. What a dream. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'm oh, gonna... look at this one. There's a there's a pink side and a blue side. Because two babies oh, died. And two twins? Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> Why are these actually like so thoughtful? I don't know. They're like really cool. This is really cute. I that one them. just has Mountain Dew in it. <laughs> Do people, <laughs> do people look at this and get sad? Probably. My mom would probably be crying right now. She cries about babies just all the fucking just time. Babies? Yeah. Doesn't it's really stupid. Nothing happens, just babies. Wow. This is here. horrifying and I. Ooh, this one's wicker. This is one, two, three, four. It's classy. Seven, eight, nine things long. That's a lot. Oh, a baby skeleton. <gasps> Oh, wait, let's look at baby skeletons. Oh my god, yeah. I love baby skeletons. See, uh, we'll just, we'll just go to related images. Yeah. That's all the same baby coffin. Yeah, baby that's good enough for me. I, it's the same mm -hmm. picture, just cropped differently. Yeah, I'm uninterested in the same picture cropped differently. I'm not. Oh, that's a monkey that's one. That's just a baby monkey. Is it? Oh, wait, no, it's not dead. It's yeah, that's very alive. Oh, that's a live baby. This isn't what I came here for. I can't just Google baby corpse. Well, I can. <laughs> no, I don't want a corpse. I want a skeleton. Okay. Yeah, actually, it'll be interesting to see how the proportions are. Why is there a picture of a tiger? Oh, there's one. That's like mummified. Ooh. It looks like a tiny alien. I love it. Mummified baby found after grave mysteriously opens 50 years after he died. That's weird. Yeah. I, I want... Oh my god, I love him. Oh, let's adopt him. <laughs> This is the kind of baby I can get down with. <laughs> the dead kind. I like him. I saved it. He's mine now. Ooh, what's this? I preserved corpse. That's not perfectly preserved. Listen. It's really Listen, well preserved. Though, it is really well preserved. 
but that is not perfect. Don't I have this on my wall? Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, you want me to send it to you? Yeah. Okay, well, that's... I don't like that it's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I love? You know how, um, you know, back when photographs were, were a new thing, people used to commemorate their dead children by propping up the corpses and taking pictures? Is that a thing? Did you not know that? Oh no. My God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is this? I just Googled vintage dead person photos. This is from BBC. The unsettling art of death photography. Oh, this is cool as fuck. It's common for families to have lots of children and also common for them to, to die before their fifth birthday. In this picture, the youngest child has died and is propped up against a stand in the picture. Oh my god. Right? I love it. Isn't that horrifying? Yes. Wait, look at this one. She's dead. That's so great. Ooh. Long exposures of taking photographs meant that the dead were often seen more sharply than the slightly blurred living. That's so cool. I love it. Oh my god. I'll just take pictures of corpses. Look at her with her dead baby. Wow. Oh my god. They print it on cards to send to relatives. What a dream. Wow. On some occasions, eyes would be painted on the photograph after it was developed. Oh, that's a live twin next to its dead. That's dead, great. Dead, dead twin. That's a lot. That baby doesn't know. It doesn't know that its twin is dead. Yeah. It's just sitting there with its twin's corpse, and it doesn't know because it's a little idiot baby. <laughs> Two girls pose with their dead mother. Oh, me. oh my god. How these girls are old enough to, to to understand death. And they are there posing for a picture, which in that time took a long fucking time with their dead mother's corpse. That's so great. God I'm just, Oh my god. I genuinely like would love to do this. Yeah. I I can't believe you didn't know about this. I mean, maybe I did, and I just forgot. It's terrifying. I love it. I don't know. I don't like the ones where they're, like, in their caskets and stuff. Well, that's most interesting, because you can yeah. tell that they're dead. I like the ones where they're, like, propped up like they're alive. Yeah. 39 best old 1800 deceased people images on Pinterest. Great. <laughs> people in the 1800s did this with dead bodies. <laughs> Speed. <laughs> it's not BuzzFeed. I know it's not BuzzFeed. But uh, that's a, that's something that BuzzFeed. <coughs> you okay? <laughs> I just choked on hot phlegm. That's terrible. I'm I I just died. Sorry. I'll take a picture with you. Wow. This man is posing. Well, he's not posing. He's oh, dead. Let's take pictures with each other when we die. Dogs. Oh my god. Let's take. Let's take pictures together when we're both dead. Like, no matter how yeah. decomposed the first one who died is. Yes. Oh, yes. Then that means one of us gets to be creepier, though. That's oh, cool. yeah. I guess it's we'll just right over who dies first. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We can let... Our ghosts are in the room. We're just like, God damn it. <laughs> you just fucking had to go on that stupid-ass car trip where you got fucking run over. You mm. idiot. You get to be fucking creepier than that. Did the lights just flicker, or did I just have a stroke? I think you had a stroke, buddy. Oh. Unless I was blinking, I might have That's like my second stroke today. <laughs> hey, listen, both sides of your face are still working, so that's Hey! Funny. So far, so good. Earlier today, Callie was drinking coffee, but it smelled like chicken soup. And so I turned to her, and I was like, are you, are you drinking soup? Nope, it was coffee. I just had a stroke. Good. Yep. Proud of you. Thanks. I'm doing good. You know, my face is still working. Um, that's what matters. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. I'm good. Yeah. Got my pretty face. <laughs> this face is ugly, bro. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you sounded like a carnival park. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's Have I you. ever mentioned how much I am an old game? Yes, Ambo. Have I ever mentioned my... My dear darling old gay man, opera cousin. I know I yes. have, but like, have I told you about him, like, personally? I think so. Okay, he's like, if you picture the kind of person, old gay opera, reti like, retired opera slash Broadway guy, he's exactly that. He, wow. he says things like, oh, I have to go schmooze with my guests. And it's like, David, David, David you are everything I want to be. <laughs> Your family has just like some weird little corners and I love it. I know. He's the weirdest corner. Uh, <laughs> I hope he's the I'm best the weirdest corner. corner of my family. Do you think I am? Yeah, um, your weird cousin might be you. 
he That's does a true. lot of weird things. <laughs> you have like some. You're like, I don't know. I feel like he has like weird spikes, you know? right? Whereas but I'm you're more of a like weird. level. Yeah. Yeah. So, like his typical weird level is probably like when he's not being especially weird. It's probably like down here and you're up here. Yeah. But when he has his spikes, they last a while and they're yeah. Up. So his average shiny pants up phase. Being. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, like that. Oh, so he's the one who is the child of my Catholic aunt. Mm-hmm. Um, and she recently posted a picture of him on Instagram where he was wearing some political shirt, and I believe she called him woke. And I have not recovered. <laughs> I hate the word woke so much. I can't even put it into words. It makes me so unreasonably angry. <laughs> It wasn't even a very profound thing on the shirt. It was just like, mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's doing good, though. I he's took like... a BuzzFeed quiz once that called me woke. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a how much of a feminist are you quiz, and I checked off a lot of them. Yeah. And it was like, you're pretty woke. Stay woke. And I was like, <laughs> mm-hmm. you hate me. <laughs> <clears throat> person who made this quiz you definitely hate me i mean yeah i whatever that proves though that it's not like i don't necessarily disagree with all the like ideas i just don't like the way they're carried out and stuff um yesterday in chorus i didn't realize we were like doing things and i was talking about my pins and mr right well i wasn't talking it was like look at my pins and then i was done talking and then everybody else mr Rekia. um He's like, hey, can you guys be quiet? And I was like, oh, sorry. And then Pete, go- Pete just goes, she has pins. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, like, tried to hold it back, but then I just very loudly <laughs> snorted. <laughs> so bad. I told Butler I was going to disown him recently. <laughs> he kept singing this song in chorus, like it was an old Irish drinking song. <laughs> and I was like, that's You're my dead. favorite. It's done. <laughs> I listen. He and Pete do it every time we sing that song now. And I don't know why Mr. Rekia doesn't say, like, would you guys please shut the fuck up forever? Thank you. Um, because it makes me so angry. <laughs> listen, I love Irish drinking songs. Okay, but it's like a pentatonic song. It doesn't. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love it. I support them wholeheartedly. I don't. I'm really, it's really annoying. <laughs> I support them It messes both. with the whole, like, vowels of the chorus. Like, I it... support them both wholeheartedly. With every, every bit of my soul. I'm just wrong, Bronwyn. Listen, I've never been wrong in my entire life. Well, neither have I. And I'm right about this. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm having way too much fun watching the, the little sound waves. You're guys. terrible. I'm having a good time <laughs> having a good time <laughs> what if i get really oh Robin. it's like <laughs> please stop but, but like oh my god there was a kid in my class my art class yesterday and he that we were you're supposed to draw like one of the prompts god this is really ridiculous <laughs> one of the prompts this year for our sketchbook is uh this semester this quarter what the i'm done <laughs> Start over. Okay, so we have a list of drawing prompts that we're supposed to get through before the quarter's over. Okay. And uh, we had a different one for quarter one. One of the ones on this one is, like, to, I don't know, draw about a current event and, like, state your stance on it. Uh Uh-huh. He did that, but not really. He just kind of drew a vague, weird picture of Donald Trump and then wrote, It's time to stop. (laughs) Oh, my God. Me, 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 me. I I think he's, like, a Republican guy, so I don't... (laughs) What? Listen. <laughs> I don't know him, but he, like, talks to Raymond, so I figure oh, he's... Oh, Raymond sucks. Yeah. It's time to stop. <laughs> wow, that is just such a... Okay, move. but, like, what, what is the point? What is... What stance is he trying to take? I don't understand. <laughs> it's time to stop. <laughs> what? What needs to stop? What's... <laughs> <laughs> He was like, he was like super proud of me. He was like, oh, I like looked up the picture, <laughs> Donald Trump for this, and I was like, cool, buddy. <laughs> hey, okay. God, you know what I want to do? What? Go to college. You're you're gonna. I, I want to go to this college, the specific one. Okay. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Okay.
I guess. I don't have anything else to offer you here. I hope that you get to because it will make you happy. Thank but you. I have I have nothing else to offer you. You could help me um, pick out songs to sing for sure. auditions, my various auditions that I have to do for this college. I have to do one for the summer program. I think that for my real college audition, I'm going to do In My Dreams from Anastasia, which I don't think you know, but it's a very good song. It's basically her singing about her amnesia and how much it sucked. Uh, her life's been rough. It's that. That's what she sings about. And it's a really, really good song. And it's one I could probably do a cappella, although it wouldn't. Do you, do you have any fan favorite songs? Um, hey, listeners, <laughs> <laughs> if you have any songs, <laughs> all I can listen. I was like trying to think of musicals that I like. Um, I had to consciously tell myself that Monsters Inc. is not a musical. <laughs> not, there are no songs. <laughs> there are no songs. I wish it was. A, let's let's, That'd be great. let's write it as a musical. We're not gonna write it. Let's as, do it, Roland. Listen. <laughs> Problem with that is that I can't write music. Can you write music? Probably. I've never tried. I also can't write dialogue. We can ask Paige for help. I can write dialogue. We can ask Paige so to help. So it's, 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 it's a you and Paige musical, <laughs> and I can watch. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Great. You can hang out, though. You can offer up ideas. Oh, what a time. That sounds like a dream come true. You love us both. <laughs> um, you should do... <laughs> you should do that one from A Gentleman's Guide to Love and I'm not gonna do... No. <laughs> With the gay one? Yeah, the gay one. No, that's a duet, Bronwyn. Oh. I can't sing oh, yeah. that long. <laughs> <laughs> you can just sing one part of it. With the pauses. So, <laughs> for the summer program, you have to send me a video audition, which means I can't do a very movement-y song, which means I can't do, like, Killer Instinct or Bring It On, for example, which is what I did for the intensive this year. Mm -hmm. Can't do that because um, I, that's a you gotta dance around and stuff in that song. And I, yeah. I'm gonna be on a video. I'm gonna talk about, my, talk about it with my voice teacher tonight. Sounds like a good idea. I'm sure that advice will be more valuable than mine. Yeah, Bronwyn, you terrible <laughs> individual. Okay, so the food that they gave Slash. us at the opera, so there was like a, there was a dinner <laughs> for the opera. Let's not discuss, uh, this is while we're also discussing this, please. So, before the, before the dinner, there was, before the opera, there was a dinner. <laughs> and the first food that they gave us, the first dish, I guess, was just, I sent a picture of it to you guys, but I don't think you can tell what it is. It was just a white plate. And it had alternating tomatoes and cheese. So it was tomato slice of tomato, then cheese. And that was it. With olive oil on it, and then some seasoning. How are you supposed to eat that? Did they not give you a fork? No, they gave us a fork. Uh -huh. But like... Tomatoes aren't even good. Yeah, just straight up tomatoes. Not even like cherry tomatoes, which are good. Just... Just a slice of big tomato. Gross. The cheese was good. I can eat just straight up cheese. I can't eat just a tomato. I did. I ate four of them because I was really hungry. But like, the only thing I'd had to eat that day was gummy worms and half of a butterfinger. So that's really relatable. <laughs> it was my leftover car ride food. Mm -hmm. I love road trip food more than anything. Two, three little bags of various flavors of chips. I don't. You're a huge and get, I don't like. Them. I like tortilla chips. You know full well that's not what I mean. I know. <laughs> so I tend to get Cheez-Its. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cheez-Its. <sighs> cheddar Cheez-Its. I hate white cheddar Cheez-Its. I love them. Give me all your white cheddar Cheez-Its. Got... They taste like how a weird thing smells. That's true. But I like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. They didn't have any white cheddar Cheez-Its. And I don't want to get the normal kind. Because I just want them to move them. So I got, it was so good. I got this like combo pack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was Parmesan, half Parmesan and half uh, aged sharp cheddar, I believe. And it was both of them. And it was, the cheddar was so sharp and the Parmesan was not. And they just, it mixed so well. Oh, that's delicious. delicious. I want it to again. Let's go to the store. Okay. I mean, we can just go to Jiffy probably. Oh, yeah. Is but that I, what's right there? Yeah. I know, I've gone there once. <laughs> yeah. I like it there. It's pretty chill. They don't have tubs of ice cream. 
Because I'm weird. Is it? Yeah, they have like lots of lots of single serving little ice cream cups. Oh, that's cute. And no tubs of ice cream. Which is That is weird. Yeah. With that extra context, that's weird. Yeah. But on its own, I've never known like that that type of place to carry tubs of ice cream. Well, they don't. So. What are those called? What are those called? General stores? Gas station stores? That's what I usually call uh, them. That's not what they are. I, I, yeah. I usually just call them the gas station, and my dad's like, no, the gas station's back there. And I'm like, but who says that? Who does that? What? Why? What? He thinks that they're a different thing, but he won't give me a name. I've never asked him. But, like, it's, he doesn't give me a name. It's a fucking gas station. It's a gas station. You know what I noticed um, on Shelburne Road? That store... That is a gas station, and they just fucking sell guns. It's... I live in Shelburne. I've never. <laughs> yeah, it's... I, I, I drove past it with Fiona's mom. Where is it near? It's um, it's it's between. It's between Shelburne. It's Shelburne Road, but like on the way to Pine Street. Okay, give. Give me like other located like other stores and stuff okay i just i have trouble with just going off street names because i don't ever look at the street names of streets i'm on because why would i i know where i am i know based on like what's around or maybe it was a little farther away maybe it wasn't in shelburne okay okay it's in south burlington but it oh, is well on shelburne i'm road that's basically like i'm in i'm on the line there, yeah. so it's not like shelburne. it's um but it's 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 literally okay let's see if you recognize it hold up Oh, well, that, yeah, that place is garbage, so... But they, they, you, could, you could have said it's near Kodo, and I would have gotten it. I didn't remember that it was near Kodo. This place. They just fucking sell guns in there. That's a gas station. That's weird. How are they allowed to do that? I don't... Well, let's go to my house from here. That's... Just for I, fun. Listen, no, I'm... Uncomfortable with this. I'm sorry. I... How can a gas station just fucking sell guns? Yeah, I know, that's bad. That's... But also, welcome to America. What? What? <laughs> I had to, like, I spent, like, an hour looking it up because I was like, they, they can't really sell guns in there, right? Like, that's a, that's a fucking gas station. Yeah. No, they can sell guns. Also, you don't have to have a concealed carry license here. You can just do that. You can just buy them? You can just, yeah, you can just carry a gun concealed. You okay. don't have to have a permit for it. That's bad. Yeah, fix that. I don't. And this is Vermont. I, this I is, like, know. a liberal place. Yeah, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I am very uncomfortable with that. Kai's probably going to disagree with me listening to this, but... I am very uncomfortable. I'm, a, I, with that. I'm, I'm pro gun control. And I he tends to yeah. have similar opinions to me. Hi, hi. Um, <laughs> I don't know, based on some stuff on Facebook. I don't know. But, okay. Well, also, I, Kai's Facebook. That's valid. <laughs> but listen, I am really fucking uncomfortable with the fact that someone can just drive along Shelburne Road and there's just a there's just a fucking gas station that 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 sells guns. Yeah. There's no need for that. You don't need to go into a gas station and buy a gun. It's true. Yeah. What is happening? I know. I think the guns should be restricted to only gun stores. I don't yeah. understand why they're like yes. anywhere else. I'm. I'm. I. We're getting close to my I'm house. baffled by this. Other news. <laughs> Look at the storm. Look at that oh. dark sky. Oh wait, that might not actually be there. Yeah. Also, the fact that you don't. Also, um, convicted felons can have guns here. Why? Right. That doesn't make That's any not, sense. That's not. Don't. Don't. Don't let them do hey, that. Remember when we walked here? Oh yeah. From Palace Nine. That was fun. Uh -huh. It wasn't. I liked it. It was really hot. It was not. That was... What? I remember almost dying in the heat. I made you go into the pet food warehouse, remember? Yeah, because you wanted to look at pets. There were no pets in there. Okay, yes. <laughs> you still made me go in there because you were like, what if there are dogs? Yeah. But but it was... I remember it being really hot. Also, <laughs> just compiling the fact that um, a convicted felon can buy a handgun from a gas station, and then carry it concealed in this state. That is upsetting to that me. Upsetting. I am very uncomfortable okay. with that. Okay. All right, cool. Have you seen that vine of that... Oh, he was the kid that was on Arrested Development. Um, yeah, yeah, that one. I don't... I haven't. Like, that's me. I, just, I haven't seen it. <laughs> He's in a library. <laughs> and it just, like, pans over to him. Like, that's me. Let's talk about it sometime. <laughs> There's no context for it. <laughs> so funny. I like it. Hmm. What? Hmm. What are you looking at? I'm looking at flatworms. Mm. Gross. Yeah. I don't like most kind of worms. I like most kind of worms. I Actually, like I think I like all kind of worms. No. Are they just technically worms? I don't think so. Let's look it up. 
Have I told you the tale of the giant leech I, I saw in the lake? You haven't. Okay, I don't think it was like an actual leech. It was something else. They are. It worms. was like this big. Sorry. Yes. It's like this big. That's how. How was it? They don't. Ha- I don't think they can get that big. Oh, it okay. looks like it. Sort. So it was like there was like a body part of it, uh-huh. and then there were like these small flat flaps. <laughs> So it was like it's so cute. But it was like all the way around. So yeah, it was like the lumpy body part. Oh, so it was a flatworm. Can those get this big? I probably some of them. They're not all the same kind okay, of. Okay, but the, but there was like an outer thing that was all the way around. Yeah. Like, Look like this. Maybe big. No. Oh, well, not. It wasn't exactly pattern like that. It was there, just black. There are many kinds of flatworms, but you mean the way it was shaped, like that? Yes. Uh, let me let me look up more pictures of flatworms. So baby skeleton. Flat, flatworms are an entire phylum. There are many, many flatworms. Don't get aggressive with me, buddy. Buddy. <laughs> I know more about this thing. You. Well, probably. You're... Let's see if I can find a lake flatworm. A lake flapper? <laughs> <laughs> me too. Flapper of the lake. Like Lady of the Lake, but, but, but in a Yeah, that was the idea, Bronwyn. Thank you. Thank you for explaining my it, joke. That was a very Trevor thing of me. Yeah. <laughs> Who Trevor will listen. Hey, Trevor. Hey. <laughs> Somebody, how do you feel about the fucking gas station that sells guns? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like tapeworms, because they'll like... Well, I do like tapeworms. You should have someone call in. Who can you call? I don't know. Can you call your weird uncle? No. I can't... Actually, I probably could call Trevor. Hang on. Let me see if I can find... No, the lake flatworms are all like worms, you know? They're not flappy. Let me look up flappy lake worm. <laughs> okay. Let's let's call Joe. Wait, happens. I wasn't serious. I don't like phone calls. Uh, I don't like phone calls either, but like also I don't I don't wanna it can be a fun I don't wanna call Joe. Be a fun addition to our roster. <laughs> we can do that another time. I don't I don't I don't wanna call what is Flappy Daddy Craw Worm. <laughs> Gamblerlores.com. <laughs> Five stars. Oh, wow. That's nice. Mega Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sorry. don't say that, because now Kai is going to have that, you saying that forever. <laughs> okay, but listen. There are, this link is the first thing that shows up on Google, and it shows up three times, just in a row. They're all they're all paid. Um www.gamblerlores.com and then an arrow, Cross and Creatures, and then another arrow, Mega Daddy. It is rated five stars. And Cross is four seventy five. Oh my god. Wait, what are you paying for? The Flappy Daddy Crawl Worm. It's a it's a fishing line. Gambler Lores. I heard lores. Like like oh I actually like myths something. to do with gambling. <laughs> Oh my god, is there gambler lore? Probably. Oh. <laughs> oh. You know I love any kind of lore. I know you do. You should watch the Five Minutes at Freddy's uh, theory series. But that's like made up lore. It's. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. Listen, so is cryptids. You love cryptids. Yeah, but it's like a, a social thing, you know? So is Five Nights at well, yeah, Give it a shot. The was made up before the social thing. Give it a shot. Alright, alright. I think my brother has a book of it. You don't, just, no, no, just watch Matthew's theories. I don't. You don't need to, like, play the game or anything. This is all just fishing lures. No, I mean, I think he has a book about the, like, the backstory and shit. Okay, but... But there's no official confirmed anything, so that that wouldn't make sense. Oh. Well, he has something. <laughs> Probably. I mean, there are Five Nights at Freddy's books. Oh, there are. Yeah, That's what he bad. has. Then. This is a picture of a chicken. A small chicken. <laughs> I'm looking for worms, right? Eh? Yeah. Sorry. Wait, what? Is that a chicken? Hold up. Yeah. yeah. Is that what chickens look like when they're like past chicks? That's so cool. Yeah. I've never seen that. Oh, you should come and visit mine sometime. Um, I hate your chickens. <laughs> What if I actually just, like, had a real vengeance for your chicken? <laughs> I've always hated your dog. Your dog is racist. <laughs> so it's Pete Holmes. It talks about- have I played that for you? No, you haven't. Oh, it's dropped a dog, it's so funny. 
so he he tells the tale he grew up with cats and mm-hmm. he's very tall so he grew up with cats and cats you can just drop them you know mm-hmm. he thought he says you can bowl a cat which is true <laughs> yeah um how oh, i don't know what this is but oh my god <gasps> he's like six foot this six, is but... real look at it i can't Ooh, oh, that's a spooky boy. What? Who did I just get messages from? This is. Oops, life happens. I just got, I just got uh, a a text from my phone you have company. AT&T? I have AT and T. Oh yeah, I love the AT and T store. They the when we went in there to transfer stuff between phones, so my mom could get a new phone. Um, they showed me memes. That's so great. Yeah, let's go to the AT and T store together. Just hang out and just chill. Yeah, just be like your friends. They're so nice in there, and there's nobody else in there, and we just looked at memes. That's so great. Yeah. Yeah, they're super friendly. I am going to watch this video of a giant sea worm. Oh, yes. Fuck. What is this? Who is this man? (laughs) (laughs) He's so smiling. He's just there. He looks like he's going to try to sell me something I do not want to see. Oh have you you don't watch John Sean, right? No. Um, I think okay. my brother does. He has this video that he put out recently. Uh, flex tape. I've talked to Kai about this a lot. I flex love tape. this video. I can't stop watching it. Brandon, it's becoming a problem. Oh, God. It's so funny. We should watch it sometime. Or you should watch it on your own time and then tell me how you feel. I hate his hat it's so much. Just listen, listing... Is he just listing the things that other people have what decided are strange like animals? Hey, I hate this. This has over three million views. Why are you watching this? Because I thought it was going to be a real informational video about the bobbit worm. <laughs> oh, you're the worst person I've ever met. Fun fact. Um, you love me. Okay, we're going to find a real informational video about the motherfucking Bobbit worm. Oh yeah, I do that group. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go away. Shout out to Kai for adding me to the this relatable map. Uh, this map, uh, what is it called? Relatable map. Uh, I personally attacked, you know, that one. <gasps> what, brown one? Look at this big-ass worm! Ooh, that's scary. See, it didn't look uh, like a worm. Uh, it was a flat boy. Okay, yeah, yeah, but now I'm just looking at really big worms. Okay. Uh, I love huge worms. I, I don't like touching worms. When I was a kid, I was like, oh, yeah, I love touching worms. I'm a tomboy. Ha, ha, ha. That's <laughs> so how I was when I was a kid, by the uh, way. Like, I just wanted to be, like, the softball. Like, ooh, wow. That's probably a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wanted to be that when I was a kid. I, well, there was this gif I saw on Tumblr in, like, sixth grade that was, like, this girl. Maybe it was... I don't know, it was at some point, and, and she was talking, well, maybe it wasn't a kid, I don't know what it was, exactly, but it's this woman talking to this girl, and she's like, help me, it was, it inspired me to become weird and tomboyish. That's a big hand, too. Yeah, uh, I love really big earthworms, they're so fucking weird. Some of them live, like, like, 13 feet underground, that's really fucking far. I love them. Oh, this is one eating another one. Oh. Okay, so I was about to say, like, I used to be really tomboyish, how the turntables, and then I remembered. Alec Rutherford's uh, Instagram bio is how the turntables. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't Alec Rutherford just amazing? I love that boy. I learned this this morning in advisory while I was showing Mason pictures of various people. It started with Ronnie, and then I wanted to show her Pete's old cringy stuff, which is why I showed you that. That's so funny. Peaches. That's a big boy. That's a hairy arm. Yeah, it is. Shave your arm. Okay. I wish oh you just didn't have hair. <gasps> it looks more like, like that than anything else. Look at that mm-hmm. fucker. That's big as hell. That's bigger than a man's forearm. Yeah. How can we just get that big? That's really upsetting. I'm not upset. I, I love it though. Oh, you know what's sweet as fuck? Mm-hmm. Madagascar forest leeches. Oh. I was about to bring up Madagascar and the plague. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so excited about this plague. Oh, we need it everywhere. Let's just make it go. Let it kill me. 
Okay, so check these boys out. They just stand, they live not in the water, and they just stand up on leaves and wait for things to pass by for them to grab. Isn't that so That's cool? That's really spooky. They stand up in little forests. Wait, let me, let me try to find a little clump of them. They're so cool. My mom really, really hates them and will scream if we show her a picture of them. Are they, are they here? No, they're in Madagascar. Oh, right, you said that. God, I'm <laughs> just the worst. This is just other Madagascar animals. This is not what I'm here for. Wait, I like him. This is what I'm here for. I changed my mind. Look I at the chameleons. Oh, I love a good nose. Oh, a pointy is chameleon. He bud. No, he's just he's just climbing. I but really he, his back legs. I'm not touching anything. Oh, yes, I hurt my I can't see. I really like chameleons. Okay, I just want to clarify. I couldn't see that because I was like trying to lean around your computer. Just saying, just oh, for the this? record. Oh, it's a it's like a little mole. Madagascar has cool. Oh, look at this beetle. Ah, oh, look at him. Yeah. Oh. Have you, you know those beetles? They look like like hornets when they fly, but when they land, they're just oh, super yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. I love those guys. I don't like them when they're flying me, because I get me neither. scared. I, yes, me too, Bronwyn. You've met. Remember that day on the track? Oh yeah, <laughs> that was so bad. It was we were just causing problems for everyone. Trevor was so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> just like, can you guys just like chill? And we're like, eh. <laughs> no. Wow, I love um, animals. Mm. I love, um, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Check out that guy! Not the guy, though, the bug. Oh my god, I like the guy, too. He looks like, hey, look what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'd love to be have a brunch with him. Here's another guy with a bug on his face. Dr. That's Brian Fisher. Now. Yeah, it's hard to see. Dr. Brian Fisher, California hey, Brian. Academy of Sciences. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Brian. Um. <gasps> it's so small. Look at the little fish so lizard. Good lizard. Hey, also be careful because you just made me make a really dark spot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I have to do the note card for tomorrow. I have to do the essay. I have to do the sketchbook. God, I hate uh, it. We should have done some stuff in the car. Do you think if I could have, I would have? If I could have, I wouldn't have. <laughs> so, okay, I didn't have my laptop with me. And even if I did, the only connection I would have had was a personal hotspot from my phone. Yeah. And um, what would, the note card thing was assigned today, and the sketchbook, uh, I also didn't have. <laughs> and also, you can't draw while you're driving. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't work very well. I keep getting distracted by the really shiny rhino. Well, isn't he handsome? Yeah, I'm like, be careful. Be careful. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, <man. laughs> I, I think that we should have a listener challenge. Okay. To guess where we are. Yeah, do it. Guess where we are. I believe in you, friends. <laughs> All three of you. <laughs> <laughs> or less, or more, maybe. Who knows? I'm gonna have to edit it though. It's fine because there's a lot of silence where we're just both doing homework, or where you're doing homework and I'm looking at pictures of really big worms. <laughs> uh, I just want to say, this free block has been McDonald's. <laughs> You can elaborate on that. I'm loving it. <laughs> You'll be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> the feeling of, to quote me home, the feeling of hearing that joke is the feeling of getting slapped in the face with a living lobster. <laughs> it changes your core temperature. <laughs> You're right. You're welcome. It's my favorite joke to tell. <laughs> You feel violated, right? I need to go home and take a shower. <laughs> That's a good way to close this. We shook hands. Just. 